Okay, it's a little tour of my little robot. It's the ugliest thing. And I just make it up as I go along. And so I call it M I A I G A, make it up as I go along. But uh, the uh, bridge came in today, so before I hook it up, I thought I'd do a little tour of what I got done before we hook up the motor. Basically, uh, this is the receiver part. It's a uh, coming from SparkFun. There's a pair. Basically, there's, this is the receiver, and here's the transmitter. It's a little smaller unit the transmitter, but uh, both of them are battery powered. That one has a battery down here, and this one has a battery down here, and this is a uh, breadboard Arduino and that's uh, completely homemade, and that one is a board Arduino from uh, Adafruit and the whole thing is going to be controlled with the uh, Wien and Chuck which is hooked up over here to the transmitter transmitter, uh, all this other stuff is just for testing per debugging purpose so they don't really it's not really part of the controlling of the robot but uh, takes a signal from the Wien and Chuck sends it through this little receiver I mean tra transmitter sends it to that little receiver gets the signal to the Arduino. Arduino drives these LEDs right now and the LEDs are divided into two parts this one is for the left motor well it will be and that one is for the right motor and the uh, the first LED in each group is uh, means that the motor is running and the next two are which direction the motor is running you know clockwise or counterclockwise so let's see it work. So here's the transmitter. And if I press forward, oop, I need to turn this on. And power on. So press forward. You can see that the uh, leftmost LEDs are on, saying that um, the uh, motors are both on. If I go the, oppo the opposite direction now, the motor lights are still on, the leftmost ones, but now it's the rightmost L LEDs that are on right now saying that it's going the opposite direction. So that's reverse and that's forward. And if I go to the right, it's actually going to spin in place because one motor is going the one direction and the other motor is going the opposite direction. So going the opposite direction also it's going to spin the other way around. The thing that was really kind of take the longest time is the ability to actually go forward and slightly turn left which is performed by uh, pulse width modulation you could see that the left motor there is uh, changing brightness and when it's like this that means it's running less um, running slower than the one on the right so it's going to swerve to the left if I swerve to the right like that it's the opposite direction this is straight so to the right, straight, so to the left, and you could, could also go backward, of course. But uh, that had that gave me some trouble because of the uh, PWM pins. I was running out of P PWM pins, and I need uh, four of them. And there's only uh, the the receiver takes some of those PWM pins to do the transmission uh, using virtual wire, but. Uh, as it is right now, basically I only use two of the PWM to control the enable of the servo of the uh, H-bridge. So we'll see how it, how we actually work after I hook up the H-bridge. <laughs> 